Most of human history is the history of domination. Most of human history is the history of oppression, the history of hatred, contempt, envy, resentment. How do you break that cycle? How do you create moments of interruption that can be sustained? If you're really going to have to come to terms with the history of black people in the States, you're talking about slavery, Jim Crow, police brutality, self-hatred, self-violation, self-flagellation. You're really dealing with psychic, spiritual, social, political catastrophes. Democracy is the hearing and heeding of the voices of the victims of hierarchies that have been in place that have dominated and exploited people. And so what's fascinating about the United States, it's always been paradoxical. The American Revolution was both an interruption of the rule of empires. It was anti-imperial in a magnificent way, but it continued with forms of domination. That's why it was an imperial democracy. It continued with forms of domination, vis-a-vis -vis indigenous peoples, African slaves, white working men and women, women across the board, of course. So what is at stake is an imperial meltdown, the spiritual blackout. Now, what is a spiritual blackout? It is the relative eclipse of empathy, courage, integrity, honesty, decency, so that to be a gangster becomes the dominant way of life. I'm going to do anything to get over. I'm going to do anything to be successful. I'm going to do anything to get money. If money, power, fame becomes the fundamental pillars upon which too many young folk are socialized because that's what they see in the imperial meltdown that we're experiencing. It's just a matter of trying to be honest, trying to be truthful, trying to be frank. That's what it's all about. How do you sustain a democratic hope in bleak times? Probably the most sublime feature, morally sublime feature of the species is that no matter how pervasive the domination is, it tends not to completely suffocate love, tenderness, struggles for justice, fighting for the poor, fighting for the vulnerable. The sparks of love of truth, the sparks of the love of justice, the sparks of the love of beauty, the sparks of the love of something bigger than oneself. There's something about the attempt to intervene and turn us around into our best. The shaking of we sleepwalkers into modes of awakening. So we become not just aware of other suffering, but we identify with that suffering enough to want to do something about it. The history of the species at its best has to do with those who are willing to risk much, sometimes risking it all, to exemplify the grandest ideals. You have to try to ascend up the stairs to be a higher self, given the self that you are at the moment, and try to rely on that higher self and not that established self in place.